Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. What? This isn't going to be a full long one. I'm just going to give the up. There always has to be a joke. What if I got nothing interesting to say? I don't think that's true. I think people come for the educational Intune content and the migration stuff. So it always, I always have to be funny. Even if I don't feel like being funny, there has to be something there. Who, who, where do we come up with that? It's been over like 100 videos, more. They all have a joke. All right, well, anyway, made some quick modifications to the migration script over the weekend. Tomorrow, we're going to get back to you with some updated content on Intune. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of review what the problems we were having was, what we did, and uh, just give everyone a quick little update before you go test it out. Okay, well, not everything is funny. They're not all jokes. Some of those were real stories that happened to me. You thought they were all jokes? Get Rubik's. Solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so the biggest issue I was seeing from everyone's feedback, and I super appreciate everyone trying this out, was the device was not re uh, removing itself from the domain, right? Um, there was an error around that, and because it was wrapped in a function, that even if the function ran, we were still getting a success. So let me just scroll down and show you what changed. Um, what came to my attention was we were doing basically and where am i here uh not even in the right place okay so basically what would happen and i could show you this because it was the same in 6.2 to unjoin the pc from the domain and this is what we were doing we were using an unjoin account that you can put in but we hard-coded it to be administrator right this basically means we were using the uh, the built-in, this, the built-in administrator user, right, to do the unjoin after we broke line of sight, okay? The problem we were seeing is that this failed for a lot of people. Not everybody. It seems that when people were testing it on cleaner machines, we didn't have the problem. It ultimately led to there was some kind of policy interfering with this. Or a lot of folks renamed that built-in administrator account or they disable it. And even though we're checking for the disabling, um, in my testing, all roads pointed to that. So what I did um, was this, is I basically, we need to make the migration in progress anyway to lock people out during the middle. So I figured whatever. Um, we generate the admin password for it. We add it to the local admin group and uh, we set it. And then I'm just kind of wrapping all the functionality inside of is the PC domain join because that, that's gonna do the error handling a little well. So. If it finally does try to unjoin and fails, we're not going to get a false positive on the uh, on the error handling. So basically what happens is we're just using that instead. So we we made the new local admin. Um, it should be enabled, but we're doing one check to make sure it's enabled. And if not, we're enabling it. And we're going to go ahead and use that to unjoin the PC from the domain. And it's guaranteed to be there. We're not relying on an account that should be there. So you know, and uh, then of course, if it's not domain joined, we're just gonna uh, fall out that it's not domain joined. Another thing we had is you see that we have um, an exit script in a lot of our, uh, for the things that do have functions, we have this exit code for, and uh, we have some logging that goes along with that. So the actual function though, wasn't stopping. Uh, for some reason. So we redid that a little bit. Basically, if the exit code is one, which should only happen during reboot, we actually go in and, and uh, uh, we actually exit with a one and we re-enable the logon provider. Um, and now if it's not a, uh, it's, if, it's, if the error code is not a one or the exit code is not a one and it's a four or a seven, it's just going to exit zero and disable the task. So it will stop from running further. So that should hopefully help with some of the the troubleshooting short and sweet right you can't beat that um on friday we put out a video addressing some of the concerns or thursday i forget when last week around some of the account logging in with the new tenant it's really important also make sure you follow the link below to the documentation page it also has a link to the solution but definitely read the assumptions because there are a lot of things that have to be in place along with the requirements to make sure everything's going to flow right for you because it is a little bit of a complex solution. So let me know what you think. Test this out. Hopefully this works for folks. Um, and if not, we'll keep cracking at it. We also have a lot of improvements to make too. It's still in its beta version. Um, but yeah, we're excited to get this out to you. So we'll be seeing you.